leveling up is super important in Dragon's Dogma 2 because not only is it important for you and your main character, but it's also important for your pawns and, of course, your vocations. It's extremely important also because this is going to help you not only level those up, but it's also going to help you unlock specific augmentations that you could only get by also leveling up each vocation. So knowing how to level up, knowing how to do it the fastest, the easiest, and the most effective way is going to be crucial for you guys to be able to unlock a plethora of different options to enhance the playstyle of your character. So let's go ahead and talk about how to level up in Dragon's Dogma 2. All right, so the first thing I want to recommend, guys, is being able to get as many pawns as you possibly can. I know the game gives you an option to pick up one individual pawn, but as you progress throughout the game, you're going to get access to getting multiple pawns, and you're going to want to make sure you maximize the amount of pawns you have in your pretty much in your party. The reason being is because anytime a pawn kills someone, or anytime a pawn does any sort of activity that gains you XP, you're going to be getting XP for that particular uh, for that particular interaction that's happening. So the more pawns you have, the more likelihood you have of killing more enemies. And that means it's going to maximize the ability of you getting XP. I know this is a very simple mechanic, but I do know a lot of people who probably will forget to pick up additional pawns. So I wanted to mention that for you guys. All right. So the second tip I want to give you, it's just kind of revolves around the way you actually earn XP in the game. You mostly earn XP by doing two major things. Number one is by killing enemies. And number two is by doing quest lines. So the best way I could tell you guys of doing this and approaching this is by making sure you do all of this the fastest and the quickest way possible to increase the amount of XP you get per hour and you're not wasting time uh, doing something you can't do. So the first tip I want to give you guys as soon as you guys get to the village where you find the blacksmith, you're going to want to make sure that you upgrade your weapon. The reason why this is important is because the better weapon you have, the faster you're gonna kill enemies. Now remember, you're also able to get these weapons based on the current level that you are. So for example, if your character is level 20, your weapon will be equivalent to a level 20. So the faster you level up, the better weapons you're gonna get, and the more you level up your weapons, the faster you're gonna be able to kill people. And this is also works with your pawns as well. Now in addition to that, you're going to want to make sure you do quest lines. So you constantly want to go through quest lines as you progress throughout the game and doing the quest lines will net you a ton of XP. Now I know some of these tips you're probably saying laser. I already know these, but trust me guys, I'm going to give you even more information. That's going to help you get even more XP, even a very nice secret method that we found. All right. So for the next tip, and this is going to be a little bit more advanced. Uh, this is going to be getting an item called the ring of ambition. Now what the ring of ambition does, it's going to increase the amount of XP you get by defeating an enemy. So the ring has the following effect that boosts the experience gained by defeating foes by 50. So if you get this ring, you will be able to boost the XP every time you kill someone. Now, I'm going to show you guys and have a separate video later on how to obtain this ring. So you guys are going to make sure you stay tuned. Now, how to get more XP fast and easy. Now, this is the method I was talking about. This is the secret method that we found. You're going to need a campsite. You could purchase a campsite from one of the vendors. I, I think the potion guy has a campsite that you're able to pick up or from any of the vendors walking down the streets uh, or, you know, down the hills. But what you want to do is get that campsite and you're going to head over to this location right here and you're going to set the campsite. Now, the great thing about this campsite is that there is an ogre about 30 seconds away from this campsite. Or if you find another area where you can place a campsite and there's an ogre real close by, let us know what that location is in the comment section down below. What you want to do here, guys, is you want to go over there, kill the ogre, and then come to the campsite, rest, and when you come back up alive, or when you're done resting, I would say, you're going to be able to see that the ogre spawned again. And it's just pretty much a matter of rinsing and repeating, killing the ogre over and over again to farm the XP. Once again, you're probably suddenly saying, well, I should just keep playing the game normally and I'll get the XP this way. The reason why you want to farm the XP is because it's going to help you unlock those augments. It's going to give you DC points, which is another type of currency that's going to be crucial for you to become powerful. And in addition to that, it's going to be extremely important that you level up fast so your weapons level along with you instead of having to be able to bring the level, the weapons up to the level you currently are and waste more resources. This way, only thing you got to really worry about is gold. Now, if you guys find other methods available to level up, let me know in the comment section below. 
If there's any glitch or farm method, we'll also be posting it here on the channel. But one thing I want to tell you guys is make sure you watch this video, guys, because this video is going to help you guys achieve the most powerful thing in the game, and that is being able to get some really amazing gear. So make sure you guys click on that video, and don't forget, for all things Dragon Dogma 2, keep it locked on this channel, and I'll catch you guys later.